Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss relationship between time factor and degree of consolidation. In Terzaghi's theory of consolidation, following three factors are considered to be important. The first factor is drainage path, that is D. It is the maximum distance that water has to travel before reaching free drainage boundary. We have already discussed this in our previous video. Now the second factor is degree of consolidation denoted as UZ. It is mostly expressed in terms of percentage that means 10% degree of consolidation, 50% degree of consolidation. Suppose a final settlement of a soil mass is suppose 10 centimeter. So if when we say the degree of consolidation of that soil at time t is 60 percent that means the soil is settled by 6 centimeter that is 60 percent of final settlement. The degree of consolidation is expressed in terms of pore water pressure that is equal to ui bar minus u bar upon ui bar where ui bar is the uni initial pore water pressure and u bar is pore water pressure as at the time under cons consideration. Now the third important factor is time factor denoted as tv and is equal to t into cv upon d square where t is the time, cv is the coefficient of consolidation and d is the drainage path. For given mass of soil, value of coefficient of consolidation and D will be constant. Hence, TV will completely depend upon T. At T equal to 0, TV will also be equal to 0. At T equal to infinity, TV will also be infinity. Now, let's consider a clay layer sandwiched between two sand layers. Hence, drainage will occur from both sides. That's why drainage path will be half of the height of the clay layer or we can say height will be twice the drainage path. This is the central line of the clay layer. We can draw the pore water distribution diagram for this layer. Generally pore water distribution diagram is triangular with its apex downward. But in this case as the area of clay layer is very large the pore water pressure distribution diagram will be rectangular. The uh, breadth of this pore water pressure diagram is will be ui bar that is equal to initial pressure at time t equal to 0. Hence here the vertical line at right hand side indicates the pore water pressure at time t equal to 0. As the time progresses the pore water pressure will fall rapidly on the outer side and will become zero. At time t equal to t1, the pressure on the outer boundaries will be zero. On the other side, it will be maximum at the center. Again, with further progress of time, the value of pore water pressure at the middle portion will go on decreasing and at time t equal to infinity the value of pore water pressure at all depth will be equal to zero and it will be indicated as vertical line on the left hand side. We can also draw pore water pressure diagram for the soil which is confined at one side and water is allowed to drain from only one side that is upper side. Here we can say a clay which is situated on an impermeable layer. Sand is present on the upper side. Drainage will take only from one side that's why drainage path will be equal to the height of the clay layer. Here we can see the pressure distribution diagram. On the upper side the excess pore water pressure will immediately become zero. But on the bottom side, it will gradually decrease from ui bar to zero. 
at time t equal to 0 it will be maximum it will go on decreasing with t1 t2 t3 and gradually it will become 0 from this diagram we can see that the value of pore water pressure varies with depth so degree of consolidation will also vary as it is expressed in terms of pore water pressure so we are more interested in average value of degree of consolidation it is given by ui minus ut upon ui where ui is initial degree of consolidation consolidation and ut is degree of consolidation at time t so we know as the time increases value of tv increases along with that value of degree of consolidation will also increases hence degree of consolidation is ultimately dependent on time factor that is tv so these are the equation we are more interested in tv equal to pi by 4 u square when degree of consolidation is less than 0.6 and tv equal to minus 0 0.933 log to the base 10 1 minus u minus 0 0.085 when degree of consolidation is more than 60. Thank you.